Hi guys, Colin again with the third, last part of, I think it's the last part anyway, of the Gretsch, which I got back out of the loft to show you the final uh, restore all I'm gonna do. But first I wanna give you a few sounds of the thing. So, so this is plugged into the champ, set to about four and a half. It buzzes a bit, but. So on the middle position, um, it's it's humming a bit. really short video of the pedal board let's add the overdrive and the chorus to get that real sound <laughs> It's, uh, it's a lot of fun, this guitar. I, I did mention if it, it sings a bit, especially if you get the amp a bit high and a bit loud to it, close to it, because it's a hollow body guitar. It's There is a block of wood um, under the bridge between the top and the bottom, like in a, a cello or a violin. So a little block of wood glued in there in this case. But it's not the solid uh, block in between here. So it really, when you get it going, you can, you can, you can really get it to sing along with you. That's enough, of the, that's enough of the sounds. What I want to show you about the Gretsch is I, I told you in the first video, I mentioned I'd taken the scratch plate off because I thought it looked cool. I thought I kept the scratch plate, so I went hunting in the loft and I uh, I found a box. The guitar keys, scratch plate in it. I'm going to show you. I'm going to fit the scratch plate back to it and see if I think it looks better or not without it. Uh, I need cleaning, I'm sure. So I'll show you what's in the box. So this is the box of, of uh, really nice the, um, oh, guitar parts, basically. And this, this is it. This is what I was looking for. There's some other junk in here. This is an old banjo. And the, oh, this, I've got to show you this as well. This is a cool one. This is, uh, from, this is Clive, the drum machine. I used to have this really old boss um, drum machine puzzle, one of the, one of the old, really early drum machines. And this is my, uh, I'd wired it up to be a trigger. I've got to figure out a use for that. But this is the scratch plate. I think it's not, it's, not, it's a bit scratched. It needs a bit of polish. And the really clever thing I did was I taped the screws on the back. I wasn't sure if I did that. But there's um, a screw to hold it onto yeah, the front and, and uh, the edge, if you get what I mean. This hasn't been adjusted, so it should just fit with the spacer in between. So I'm going to clean this up, put it on the guitar. I'm going to give you one tip about putting screws back into wood which have been already uh, uh, cut into, if you get what I mean. I'll show you that, so you don't mess up your guitar too much. Um, but first, it needs a bit of a polish, because you can see the scratches on it. And I've got to see what else I've got some other things So this was all in the loft as well, I don't know how many years it's been lost. Oh yeah, an old label, especially family heirloom. All kinds of junk. Oh, that came from a bass. Yeah, anyway, polish this and get it ready for the guitar. That's the plan, uh, back in a moment. So the guitar is back on the bench, and this is where the scratch plate's gonna go. Still fits, which is handy. And it's roughly the right place for this metal bar here, which holds it in place. So that's gonna be the short screw without the spacer. 
and this is going to be the place for the longer screw with the spacer which just holds it above the body and lines up better in, with the rest of the guitar and I'm going to show you that trick or technique of how you can place the wood screw without hopefully messing up the wood as you, re, um, you reposition the screw so you don't uh, put another uh, another thread in it basically I'll show you how to find that technique using that one then you probably mel maybe see it maybe even hear it slightly as the screw goes in I'm going to place this one first with a spacer in between because that will go a bit easier I think and I'll show you that on the one up there so the scratch plate is now fitted with the front screw only it's not fully tightened down so there's a screw going through the, the scratch plate there's a spacer then into the body of the guitar and to put that screw in I use the same technique I'm going to show you with this small screw on the, the bracket which is here because ideally you want the screw to go into the same a position in the wood the same thread into the wood so it doesn't bite a new hole into your wood and make the hole basically bigger and the way you can do that is you put it into the hole um, and you gently turn it backwards so anti-clockwise like you're unscrewing it until you can feel the edge of the screw kind of falling in or biting in or tripping over the edge of the thread and then you can gently turn it to the right clockwise so screwing it into the wood and you should feel immediately that it goes to start off with very easy you can feel it going into a hole that's already been cut if you get what i mean rather than being difficult right from the start now you can do this just with your fingers or with a screwdriver i'm going to see if i can do that uh, maybe both ways even to do it's a bit of a juggling match with one hand one day i'm going to invest in a bracket for this thing but basically i need to lift the bogle the, the, the bracket put it in the hole and now from here i could try turning it straight in see if it goes loose but i can also just turn it back slightly and then there i felt a little kind of tick or a click and now turning the screw into the right it goes easy it goes easy and the same applies like if you use a screwdriver you can feel it immediately going kind of easy to start off with it's not biting into the wood i can feel a little bit of resistance now but it's not biting into the wood and with this i'm going to tighten it properly check the position oh, it's not really good, it? check the position of the bracket so that it's all lined up straight together with this one there's nothing caught and then gently tighten them both until they're tight and for me you don't want to go too hard on this you know when it's in it's in when tight is tight basically uh, i think i uh, mentioned before just like old motorcycles when the bolt's fastened it's fastened so it's on that's it both tightened up felt uh e easily to tighten up and just a little bit of a turn to get them gripping and then they're fine the question is do i like it better with the scratch plate or without well you can tell me what you think i'll uh, show you from a different position what it looks like now so that's it it's back in original condition with its scratch plate fitted um what do you think does it look cool without it or with it i i'm quite liking it with it now to be honest i like the the black and the black together works well although i would have to be honest, I would have liked if Gretsch had made this same um, uh, body colour on the headstock as well. I think that always looks good on the on the guitar, personally. Looks a bit more posh. Um, so, that's it. I think this is the last video on this guitar. I don't. It's back to original stock condition, basically, now. And it sings wonderfully. <laughs> That's it for now. Have a great day, everyone, and a nice weekend as well. Enjoy the sunshine if you got it. Okay, take care. Bye for now.